My morning starts at 4.45, my alarm goes off, and I usually take about 15 minutes to meditate, pray, and get my mind and my mindset ready for the forthcoming day. CB is my middle son. He was diagnosed at the age of 18 months with uh, full autism PDD, which is pervasive development disorder. And I would say on a scale from one to 10 for autism, he's probably around about a six as far as his functionality goes. Going on outings with CB can be a challenge. And one of the things is time management. If I have a set time that I would like to do something and get something done within a window, it's always working around his schedule. Um, trying to get him dressed and getting him prepped um, is the first challenge. Um, once we do that, we're in the vehicle, he's fine. So sometimes when we're out in public, um, he will let out a loud burst and start to jump. And my son is about six feet, so when he starts to do that, sometimes it can be startling to people, bystanders. Um, I can calm him down by just calmly speaking to him and telling him, let's use your hall voice. You know, let's not be loud. We are here in a place of business. Let's, let's keep our voices to a minimum. And usually most of the time that works unless he gets angry. Now, if he gets angry, that can, that can play havoc on everyone. And oftentimes uh, I've had to cut our activity short. I remember a couple instances where he would go out and he would literally pretty much just start to tear things down around him. He was either angry, frustrated, or maybe he was there and didn't want to be there. But some of the bystanders would stare. Some of them, I would hear comments like, um, she needs to take care of her kid or take him outdoors or can you shut that kid up? It used to really bother me, it really did. And what I would do is I would just shut everything down and go home. If that were to happen now, I would be able to handle whatever comments come my way. And um, how I handle that is I look at the person and I smile. And I don't even, I don't even tell them that he has autism anymore. I don't feel I, I need to provide an explanation. Um, within a few seconds of watching him, you know that there's something definitely wrong. And um, by me being calm, it keeps him calm and it keeps a lot of issues from escalating. And I just pretty much tune whatever is going on around us out and I just focus on him only. And it works. Adjusting to people's comments and their reactions out in the public took me probably over the course of years and maybe 10 plus years. My son is 23 years old now. It's going to take some conditioning to yourself as a parent, as a caregiver, to literally mentally block out what people will say about your kid um, because it's hurtful. Who better than myself know how to handle my own kid? I don't need some stranger telling me how to handle my kid. The first advice I would give a parent of a young child with autism is don't hide your kid. Take them out. You know, the more people see your kid out in public, the more you educate them. And yeah, there's going to be some that's never going to accept them, but that's fine. But the majority of the people will eventually learn that autism is a part of the community. They're part of society. You know, any perception of anyone else outside your circle, it really doesn't matter. So... That would be my advice to a parent, is to keep going, don't look back, don't look down, stay focused and look forward. I have a circle of friends that I have had for over 20 plus years. Um, no matter what is going on with any of us, we're there as support for one another. So if you're an individual and you haven't made that inner circle, it's important that you do because you have to have a life outside of your life. <laughs> Uh, CB is a physical person. Um, he's always been a large kid. Um, and for some reason, he's just taken a liking to bowling. And I think it's because the weight of the ball is, it gives him a sense of gravity. So um, he gets a lot of enjoyment out of bowling. He really does. Today, in preparation of him going bowling, I'll tell him um, that we're going bowling. Um, I bought him a bag. 
I bought him his own bowling shoes, so he will be very excited to know that he's going bowling. Educating the community is key to your son or daughter being able to live and thrive amongst the people who live around you. Great job, CB. And there are people out there that want to be friends with your loved ones. I mean, because he's out in the community. He's out with his rec therapist. He's out with me. He's out with his brother. He's out. He's out. He's not kept in. He's not secluded. If he's happy and he's free-spirited, then why not allow him to be him? Um, that's very, it's very far and few when he is allowed to be him. So when I can allow him to be himself, I do.